At McMarran, we look at decision making and the way we present people with data um, through the lens of human in the loop. We can make lots of decisions and, and you can present people with lots of data, but sometimes you still need the human in the middle of it to pull all that together and make the right decision. So as much data and insight as we can produce, we want to give that to humans faster and in, in near real time to make on-track decisions, which could mean the difference between uh, you know, being at the top of the grid or being at the back of the grid. We do lots of simulations. We run hundreds of thousands of simulations of each race before we go out to, uh, over the weekend. Um, and we're excited to see where that could take us with Splunk. In F1 race preparation, data is really important. Working with Splunk has been really great because we now have access to uh, all of the data from the Virtual GP series, um, which is even more than what we have in F1 itself. Using the Splunk dashboards has seemed really easy. Um, working with some of our colleagues in Splunk, putting together the race trace, some of the sector analysis, the race positions chart, all of that kind of stuff normally takes quite a long time, but it's been quite surprising seeing how quickly our colleagues at Splunk have been able to put all of that together. Well, I think there's a lot of exciting things coming up in virtual racing. I think the future it's got is, is extremely good. And the more we can integrate Splunk and McLaren and obviously virtual racing and Splunk um, in comparing this data and making it easy and uh, simple for, for anyone to come in, look at data and make self-improvement straight away. With me being very into my virtual racing and everything, how they've been able to just come in and show data and the rate of improvement that they've had in terms of um, understanding what I would also like to see and, and look at in my data, how they can transform that into having my own little dashboard um, and looking at those things that I want to be able to see as a, as a racing driver and the critical things to help me improve. So I think the relationship with Splunk could be really deep. We have uh, a lot of data and we struggle to analyse all of it. And when I say a lot, I mean a terabyte and a half per race weekend. Um, we have strategy data, we have car data, we have GPS data, but also we have lots of aero data as well. So we have our own wind tunnel, we have CFD clusters and supercomputers. And for those, we actually have our own storage facility to store that data. So we're talking petabytes of data. It's, it's a huge amount of data for us to deal with. And and we're going to have to process that in near real time to make better on-track decisions as we go forward in our sport. 